Good day to all. Welcome to Extreme Recap. As the film starts, we see Chen Xiao Hao lying, harmed in the road. How is it that a young, idealistic cop with exceptional mental and physical strength is assigned to traffic duty? On the other hand, he is plagued by an uncanny ability to perceive what others cannot. Despite his remarkable abilities, the dead ghosts. As he recalls his past, he has only advanced to the position of traffic cop. We discover that he has had this ability since childhood, which made him feel out of place and made him the target of ridicule from other kids. We are then taken back to the incident that caused one night's house injury. The house partner observes his odd behavior while on routine patrol, which gets him in trouble, such as how he simply shot into the air in front of cars. He is diving in front of running cars from the perspective of the house to save jaywalkers' spirits. However, as the two continue to talk, a car speeds right by them, giving the impression to the average person that he is attempting to cause a collision on purpose. However, how does it stop? He asks the driver a lot of questions and tells him to drive slowly the next time. However, as he gets ready to let him go, he notices blood stains on the trunk of the car. When it is open to examine it more closely, all that is revealed is a pink purse. He is knocked to the ground when the driver hits him in the head with a heavy object just at that moment. Additionally, he kills his housepartner instantly by shooting him in the heart. A female ghost escapes from the trunk and appears in front of the man as the man prepares to conclude the way. How has the opportunity to pull out his gun the following day and shoot the attacker instead? Explains to his superiors that, as was to be expected, a female ghost intervened on his behalf and saved him. Nobody trusts him. Furthermore, he is approached to update his report by passing on out every one of the references to the apparition Madden that nobody is trusting his story. How leaves the place of employment. Rather, shortly thereafter, Detective Chong, who seems to be the only person who understands his perspective, advances upon him. The Ninth Precinct is a special but secret pseudo-segment of the police agency that deals with mysterious unsolved cases, particularly those involving ghosts. Detective Chong Skeleton is then offered the opportunity to join his secret police crime bureau and facilitates their peace and allows them to pass away immediately upon entry into the department. He observes other police officers with the same abilities as himself who are interacting with ghosts. Criminal investigator Chong then, at that point, clears up for him that when an individual kicks the bucket and turns into a phantom, they feel confounded. He goes on to say that they are kept among the living until their ills on earth subside and they are assisted in properly passing over to the other side. Howe admits that he can hear but not see the ghosts. As a result, the detective just tells him to feel more for his heart until he can hear them. Then criminal investigator Chong briefs him on the main weapons utilized in a powerful examination. He starts with incest, but he also mentions the insensible, which is a way for us to express our thoughts. Empower collaborations with the dead. Next is an exceptional yin-yang umbrella that safeguards the phantoms. Last but not least, a sacred water pistol for self-defense and the removal of evil and vengeful spirits. Following this, how is acquainted with Su an intense and otherworldly investigator who is by all accounts acting rather unusually. Detective Chong reveals that the master is controlling her. A spirit that takes her suddenly and gives her helpful advice to help them solve their cases. Nonetheless. The expert must be controlled through the over-the-top utilization of liquor, isn't that so? Unusually, when the Had Suez draws nearer to how the expert distinguishes a lady's soul following him sometime thereafter, investigator Chong and Hao had out on a situation where a lady reports her home being spooky with weird clamors and spooky nebulous visions of a kid as they start their examination. The detective inquires about how to utilize the yin-yang umbrella. What's more, quickly after opening it, a phantom of a kid shows up before him. The detective then conducts some investigation and comes to the conclusion that the child's parents did not possess the. His soul was entangled there by a proper ritual performed after his death. He goes on to say that every child, whether it be a ghost or a human, longs for their mother's warmth and affection and a playmate. He eventually brings the case to a close by revealing that the child trying to play with the woman who lives there while unaware that he is dead was what caused the house to be haunted. The boy will receive the peace he has always deserved by being properly buried the following morning as the solution. They then went back to the precinct, where they began to suspect that the woman's spirit, which the master had said was following him, had actually saved his life. 
Be that as it may, analyst Chong rigorously cautions him to just police the phantoms and not engage with the cases including people. How, despite the warning, meets Huang Yahweh, the spirit of the woman. Who drives him to the house? She once resided in. However, her friend Juice, who believes that he is an intruder, knocks how unconscious just a few moments after he enters. Fortunately, Yahoo's spirit assists him in pointing to her diary and convinces Juice that he can see her and is available to assist. Julian finally lets everyone know that her friend Yahweh hasn't been seen in over a month. The following day an elderly man told Detective Chong and how about unidentified cries and furniture movements in his house. However, after a touch of examination, shockingly, he turns out to be a spirit who hasn't realized he's already dead, as it turns out. When the elderly man finally finds out about this, he helps the detectives find clues about his grief, which has kept him in the physical world. How discovers a box containing a picture of the elderly man and his daughter by following the hints. This suggests that finding his daughter will assist him in crossing over to the other side. In the meantime, Su gets had and has a dream of where his girl is. So them three drive to the settled area, just to track down a horde of female phantoms, all enhancing a similar robe and gazing at them with bitterness and a hint of trust. How then carefully approaches the elderly man's daughter, reunites both of them and liberates them. The same evening, they illuminate other police offices about this. This enables them to exhume a mass grave of bodies, all of which have been identified as belonging to the women who had been reported missing for a few months prior to their departure. How spots Yahoo among the crowd, and he tries to resolve her case out of a strong sense of justice. However, due to the potential for disastrous outcomes, Detective Chong urges him not to interfere in the affairs. The CEO of a general hospital, Yu Shu, is introduced to us next. He recently learned that a wealthy counselor was involved in an accident. She therefore leaves immediately to save him. In the following scene, Yushu can be seen standing in front of a Satan statue wearing a dark robe and an inverted cross. She then, at that point, gradually continues to lead a custom of resurrection on the departed instructor. In the meantime, juice in and do some. Digging to discover that Yahweh was pregnant with the counselor's child and had delivered her at Sun General Hospital, where she then vanished completely. Shockingly, the remainder of the person in questions. Additionally, they never left the hospital after their visit. This explains why their gowns were identical. The following day, they visit Yushu and question her about the vanishings. However, true to form, she pretends obliviousness. So squeeze in pay offs the watchman and accesses the CCTV film. Despite having been in an accident a few days ago, the footage shows the counselors standing on both feet without any scars. It is demonstrated in another video that Yahweh did, in fact, visit the hospital, but she was unable to leave. Additionally, the two individuals attempting to cross her anger Yushu. So she brings a shrewd soul and sends him to hurt them. The two return to Justin's house in the interim. And when exactly, the evil spirit appears in the restroom alone. No stick it says that they fight hard, going back and forth for a while. In the end, the spirit gives up and leaves because he realizes that he can't compete with a police officer in the precinct. It is revealed that Jusen when Detective Chong arrives at the scene simultaneously. Is his daughter, but they don't get along well, so she yells at him to leave and tells him to stay away from her business. Detective Chong agrees, but after a while, he calls her once more to try to reconcile. They seem to finally be getting along. However, at that exact moment, Yu Shu's men break into her home and kidnap her. Hearing his girl's shouts, Analyst Chong races to her place just to think that it is abandoned. He does, however, locate the CCTV footage of her prior to her removal. As the analyst looks carefully, he sees Yushu in the edge, amazingly developing horns somewhere far away from me. Detective Chong rushes to the hospital when she realizes she is the one responsible. He meets Yushu there, and he tries to get her to give back his daughter in exchange for the evidence. But she says no. She then declares, grinning devilishly, that other significant lives necessitate juicing sacrifice. In the end, it is made clear that you have special powers because she is in league with you. With the devil boo, she actually strips her young victims of their life force and either absorbs it herself or feeds it to her affluent clients, making them look and feel younger for the rest of their lives. 
The enraged detective pulls out his gun when he hears everything. However, before he can fire the gun, he is shown his daughter by Yu Shu. When Detective Chong sees his daughter unconscious in the middle of a ritual surrounded by candles, he is horrified. Yu Shu then chokes him and threatens to kill him with just a touch of her hand. Later in the evening, the detective is said to have committed the unthinkable to end his suffering, according to several news outlets. Shockingly, the news additionally expresses that he had been going to the emergency clinic for a long while to fix his downturn. This is due to the fabrication of the clever yeast shoe. A papers to make maybe he completed the demonstration himself. Yes, forgery of paperwork is the devil's number one skill. The news has devastated everyone in the precinct, particularly. Influence is profoundly impacted by criminal investigator Chang's demise. She had always served as her father. Since the two had just begun to develop a close relationship as partners, Hao is also having a hard time. After that, he climbs into his car and whimpers softly while holding the dolls made of flat paper and juice by her as a child. It comes to light that Detective Cheng held these in the utmost esteem. In scene two, the next one, uh, approaches. Hao and begins discussing her tragic upbringing. She begins by announcing that she was the daughter of two fathers. One of them was a seaman who fell into the water and died. Then when she was three, her other dad embraced her. He apparently used to get drunk and beat her violently every night. Then, at that point, one evening, having had enough of the maltreatment, she took off from home and continued to run until she fell. After that, she was taken to a temple, where she lived for many years while crying. Sue then, at that point, uncovers that it was analyst Chong who viewed as her and took her to that sanctuary following this. Because nothing kicks off a third act like a bunch of unnecessary flashback sequences, Hao also talks about his childhood. He starts by saying that a fortune teller told him who would marry his father. As a result, Life's father fulfilled the prophecy by marrying a ghost woman, though his motives are still a mystery. But only how could he see his ghost mother, who accompanied him everywhere he went. In any case, when his companions got to be familiar with this, they began harassing him seriously. If you're fed up with everything, tell us everything there is to know about the ghosts. Since that day, he has been unable to see or hear his ghost mother. How then began to ignore his mother and fled from her. They make the decision to search for juice inside and rescue her after the moving stories. They play Russian roulette with one of your shoe's closest employees as punishment for this. At the point when the man has chance in his shoulder, he at last spells every one of Yushu's mysteries, including the way that she must be crushed by the consecrated water. The water guns, oh my. They engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat with guards and shoot ghosts with guns as Sue rushes to the hospital armed only with sacred water pellet guns. As Sue enters the ritual room, he sees you shooting. Why didn't we try those instead? When Satan sees her offering juice to him, he immediately fires at her. However, the bullets do not appear to work. He reverts to plan B after realizing that he cannot defeat her. He pretends to surrender by dropping his gun, but as soon as he gets close to your shoe, he spits out the holy water on her upside-down cross. Her spells are undone by this, rendering her powerless. How then does Juice come out of the water? A spirit-incarnated detective Chong softly calls out to her. She finally wakes up after a few seconds and immediately seeks out her father only to discover that he has already passed away. A few days later, Julian holds Detective Chang's funeral, to which the ghosts and the entire 9th precinct attend. After the funeral, Hao heads home and finally meets his ghost mother in the rain. He approaches her and covers her with the umbrella. This at long last provides her the sense of finality that she has been frantic for, for a really long time. As his mother slowly passes away, he tenderly looks at her at the end of the movie. No doubt, enlighten us seriously regarding your little apparition companions. Your naughty child. Turn on notifications, please subscribe for more videos like this, and like the channel to support it. Thank you very much for watching.